dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much guys. Share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you guys, I appreciate your support. Exclusive. The SSS Director General Bichi conducts secret on even recruitment, given the North 535, the South only 93. The Gazette has uncovered a hiring anomaly that could potentially tip the ethnic and religious balance of national security in favor of a section of the country for decades. Director General of the SSS Yusuf Vichy has activated a lopsided hiring process that could overfill the state security service with personnel from the northern parts of Nigeria. People's Gazette can report based on official documents and contributions of senior intelligence official, officials. The Gazette's Finding, the Gazette's findings, I beg your pardon, obtained over a period of two weeks show that the North has a massive share of the roughly 1,300 Nigerians currently undergoing cadet training at two different camps of the secret police in Lagos and Bauchi. Of the total 628 cadet, tra cadet trainees, who had resumed at the Bauchi facility as of September 23rd, 535 identified themselves as trainees joining the service from either the Northeast or the Northwest. Only 93 were from either the Southeast, South-South, Southwest or North Central, according to recruitment filings cited by the Gazette. The Gazette's findings also show that at least 71 of those currently undergoing cadet training hail from Bichi local government area, Kano State, the Director General's home local government area. Officials said the number was more, but the Gazette could not independently confirm the higher figures, as well as a slew of other disturbing allegations of bigotry against Mr. Bichi prior to this publication. The list of candidates was not compiled by state, but officials believe a state-by-state -state breakdown would exist at the headquarters in Abuja. In Lagos, the Gazette was unable to obtain official attendance records of trainees at the camp in Ojo. But multiple participants, including senior officials, said Mr. Bichi disregarded the federal character concept and skewed the process for Nigerians from the north. A top official estimated 708 trainees were at the Lagos training facility as of September 26th. Officials were unsure how many people were taken as cadet trainees in total because some were still arriving three weeks into the six-month exercise. Senior intelligence officials said even though the sectional disparity mirrors Nigeria's reality under President Muhammad Buhari, they are nonetheless worried that the development could potentially tip the ethnic and religious balance of national security in favor of a section of the country for decades. Some of us were worried less about the audacity of focusing on one part of the country to bring in new cadets than we are about its long-term implications. A senior SSS official told the Gazette via a secure video channel last week. We know he might find it's difficult, but the Director General 
would leave a better legacy if he sees himself first as a Nigerian. All SSS officials who provided documents and inside information about Mr. Beach's sectional recruitment drive did so under, under strict anonymity, citing grave personal and career risks. The Gazette agreed not to name them in line with its editorial policy on anonymous sources. In July, the Yellow House sent out a memo to all state and FCT commands informing them that Mr. Beachy had ordered a fresh round of recruitment for the agency's next generation of intelligence officers. Mr. Beachy directed that each state command should conduct a rigorous selection process and forward four successful candidates to the headquarters for possible admission into the service. The DG also imposed strict entry guidelines for every potential recruit, according to the July 6 memo obtained by the Gazette. The directive also cancelled a 2018 recruitment process that was underway at the time, but said those who were successful in that process may join the fresh exercise. Mr. Bichi emphasized that the four candidates for each state must be below 30 years of age and be selected across the three senatorial districts that make up a state. The Gazette confirmed that all commands complied with the directive, conducted a thorough selection of four candidates and sent the results to the headquarters. But shortly after the candidates were cleared and sent to the headquarters, before the July 15 deadline contained in a memo, Mr. Beachy seized the moment and initiated a recruitment process of his own. The Gazette learned. On September 1st, Mr. Beachy told a few officials at the Yellow House to call people from a prepared list and offer them a role at the SSS. Those who were called were immediately asked to go to Lagos or Bauchi Trainee School, of the official said. Starting September 8, cadet candidates reported for training in Lagos and Bauchi in some cases without the awareness of the director of state security in the state they applied from. Documents and officials said, I just heard that some people from the state where I work, including some who did not make the court for the four candidates, were selected and passed to the headquarters had reported to the training school either in Lagos or Bauchi, an SSS chief said. Based on the four past state arrangements, only 148 people should have been employed across the 36 states and the FCT. The SSS chief said, but we suddenly discovered that training schools in Lagos and Bauchi had over 1,300 between them. Mr. Bichi kept the list of those he had been sending to the training school secret. Officials said, it was unclear how many people he intended to recruit, but they kept showing up. Mr. Bichi has kept the process largely to himself, making it difficult for insiders to access his list or the criteria with which he was selecting cadet candidates, officials said. For a long time, the SSS did not admit candidates who had a third class university degree or lower into the service. Only those who did well in university and polytechnic were admitted as a security intelligence officer level two, equivalent to an assistant superintendent of police. In recent years, however, the service has been admitting candidates who graduated with a third class but it has been placing them on a rank below that of a security intelligence officer, the officials said. In Bauchi, some of the candidates were asked not to bother checking in for training at all, the Gazette learned. In at least one case, a candidate was asked not to go to Bauchi for training, but to resume directly at the SSS State Command in Kano. 
A female third class graduate resumed at the Kano State Field Office of the Secret Police on September 22nd without undergoing training. Her employment letter said she should resume immediately at a, as a cadet officer but go for basic course training in 2021. The Gazette's findings show that the woman is also from Beachy local government area. Her identity was redacted based on legal considerations. In Lagos, the 708 candidates undergoing training are so many that some lecture halls have been converted to hostels. The Gazette learned the facility was not sufficiently equipped to take in as many trainees at once, officials said. Mr. Beach's recruit, regional recruitment agenda came three years after his predecessor implemented a similar hiring process that failed to reflect Nigerians' diversity. In 2017, Premium Times revealed how the 479 cadet officers that were commissioned from the 2016 recruitment exercise were substantially from the north. Lawal Daura was in charge of the SSS at that time. The SSS did not respond to the report because it had no substantive spokesperson at the time. But a spokesman for Mr. Buhari justified the lopsided hiring as a deliberate measure to correct an existing regional imbalance in the service. Although the administration's statement at the time was widely ridiculed as false, officials told the Gazette it is largely true that the SSS has more offic officials from the southern parts of the country. Mr. Daura's lopsided recruitment was never recited although Nigeria is roughly split by population and region between arid north and tropical south. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this revelation on uh, this national issues? These are some of the uh, northern agenda that has been reviewed and uh, that is being practiced under the administration of President Muhammad Buhari. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts? Please drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. On this particular news story don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys I appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now